For more information on tutoring, personalized video solutions, or how to support MOOF University and the production of more videos, please visit MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. Okay, so in this video, we're going to figure out the electron configurations, specifically the ground state electron configurations, and the orbital diagrams for all the elements in the first two rows of the periodic table. So if you have a periodic table handy, great. If you don't, grab one and uh, pause this video and then go grab one. Come back to it. So all we really need from the periodic table is the atomic number of each of these elements because that's going to tell us the number of electrons. And we're going to use the alpha principle to help us realize which orbitals we're filling in first and then next and so on and so forth. So we're going to start off with hydrogen. Hydrogen has an atomic number of one and thus one electron. And the first orbital that we're going to fill is the 1s orbital, right? Because of alpha, the alpha principle, 1s is first and then there's 2s and 2p and 3s. And we're actually not going to really go further than 2p in this video. So I'll just stop there for now. So hydrogen one electron, so it's going to be 1s1, okay? And the orbital diagram for that, in the 1s orbital here, we're gonna have one electron, and that'll be it. Next up is helium, z of two, so two electrons, so 1s2. So the 1s orbital will have one up and one down. Lithium, three electrons. Now we can't put 1s3 because S can only have two electrons maximum. So we're gonna have one S, two, and then we have to move to the next orbital, which is the two S orbital according to the alpha principle. So it's gonna be two S, one, for a total of three electrons. So we're gonna have in the one S, it'll be filled, and then we'll move on to the two S orbital. We'll put one there. Beryllium, four electrons. So one S, two, two S, two. And so now the two S orbital is filled in addition to the one S orbital. Next up is boron, five electrons. So we'll have one S2, two S2, and then we now can put one in the two P orbital, right? For a total of five electrons. So the one S is filled, two S is filled. So that's four electrons there, one more. We'll go to the two P. So we've just begun to the two P orbitals here. Now we have three two P orbitals. So carbon, six electrons. So we're gonna have one S2, two S2, two P2. So 1s is filled, 1, 2, 2s, 3, 4. And now we've got two electrons in the 2p orbitals. So we're going to go 1 and then 2. So this is the first time we're going to apply Hund's rule here, right? Because we have to half fill all the orbitals first, right? Actually, not going to do it like that. This is where we're starting off with Hund's rule, right? We have to half fill the electron. Um, the atomic orbitals with electrons before we start doubling up. Next up, nitrogen. It's going to be, have seven electrons, so 1s2, 2s2, 2p3 for a total of seven electrons. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 electrons, right? They're all half filled now. So that's also an application of Hund's rule there. Next up is oxygen. So we got eight electrons. So we got 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. So the 1s is filled, 2s is filled. And of the 2p orbitals, we got one, two, three, and then we can go back, double, begin to double up with 2p4. Okay, so Hun's rule again. Fluorine, nine electrons, 2s2, or excuse me, 1s2, 2s2, and then 2p5. So that's nine electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. The neon, Z equals ten, ten electrons, two S or one S two, two S two, and two P six. So one S is filled, two S is filled, and even the two two P is also filled. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've filled all of the orbitals with neon, a noble gas. Super important actually, keep that in mind. Noble gas, filled configuration, filled orbitals. Now I got a question down here. What is the set of quantum numbers associated with the electron with the arrow pointing to it? So this electron right here, what are the quantum numbers associated with it? So it's asking basically what the L value or what the N value is, what the L value is, what the M sub L value is, 
and what the m sub s value is. Well, n is in the it's n is two here because of two p. So the n value is two. The l because of the p is equal to one. The m sub l it's in the third orbital here. So if we think about these orbitals specifically, we've got negative one here, zero here, and positive one here. So the m sub l value there is positive one. Let's keep that in green actually. The m sub l value there is positive one, and it's spinning downward. So minus one half. So this here is the home address for that specific electron. Okay. So I hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you and happy studying.